looking to spend maybe around $40, $50. I am spending... Adriana and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new today I have to do some grocery shopping I just stopped at the mailbox and got my mail I have a package right here right here it's some bubble mailers that I ordered a few days ago so I had to pick those up because my business definitely needs more bubble mailers and now me and the kids are headed to the commissary because there's a few things I have to pick up from the grocery store I also have a package that I need to drop off. Um, so thank you guys for purchasing my products, my lip gloss and my lashes. You guys are really, really loving the lip gloss and the Bahama Mama lashes because I'm almost sold out of the Bahama Mama lashes. So right now I'm about to head to the post office and then the commissary. I would go to Walmart, but um, the front gate like the main gate that people go in and out of to because it's like so convenient to go to like walmart and mcdonald's and stuff well basically all the food places is closed off so i have to find a different gate and i don't know how to get to another gate because i don't know this base it's way bigger than Irwin, and i don't know my way around here i know my way to the front gate and back home into the commissary that's literally it so if the gate is closed then i won't be going off base today i'll have to probably wait till tomorrow but i really wanted to go get baby drew's birthday gift because her birthday's coming up next week and I'm really excited about that, so I will be filming like her big party and all that. $50. I ended up spending $95 on these groceries, which was way over the budget that I had planned. But I'm pretty sure it's so crazy because I didn't get a lot of like dinner stuff. I kind of got a lot of fruit, lunch, and breakfast type stuff. I'm going to show you everything that I got. I wasn't planning on doing like a grocery haul, but since I did spend $100 on groceries, I feel like it's only appropriate. So this is everything that I got from the commissary. I also have a package that I need to open. These are just some bubble mailers for my business, like I told you guys in the beginning of the video. And over here, we have a big bag of mixed fruit. It's actually cheaper to get it at the commissary than it is Walmart. And this comes with strawberries, pineapple chunks, sliced peaches, and grapes. So girly, do you want a smoothie? Yeah. So she's been really loving these smoothies and I sneak in a little bit of spinach to get her greens. She can't even taste it and she absolutely loves it. I got them both some candy. She has Mike and Ike's and Brockett Reese pieces. Over here, I'm making burgers tonight. So I got the sesame top burger buns and I got some bacon, onion for the burgers. My favorite fruit is watermelon and they had some pre-cut watermelon for only $1.25. So I had to cop that. I have a cantaloupe, oh, cantaloupe is so freaking good. I'm actually gonna let this sit for like a few more days before I cut into it. I have some lettuce that I'm gonna cut up for burgers, for um, wraps, and just for like other things. I'm gonna cut this up and put it in a Tupperware container. I have some gala apples because I still have some caramel. I think I'll show you guys. I got this caramel a while ago and I am obsessed with this. So I love to dip my apples in this. And this bag of apples will probably be gone by the end of next week or maybe even by the middle of next week because we love apples. I have some muffins. You guys know I love my breakfast sandwiches. I have some bread right here because the bread that we had expired. Usually, we'll, the only way we go through a lot of bread is if I make peanut butter and jelly. And we were out of jelly for like two weeks, maybe like a week and a half. So we haven't made any peanut butter and jelly. So our bread actually went to waste and I had to get a new one. You guys know I love my turkey breast and smoked ham 
lunch meat i love this brand right here it comes um, packaged in two separate packages i don't know this this brand is just so freaking good and instead of the big bagels i went and got the mini bagels for my kids for breakfast um that way the sausage can fit on here a lot better and the eggs can fit better and you're not just eating like a bunch of bread um so yeah i think this one like maybe one or two of these should fill them up in the morning maybe even just one if i put like some fruit on the side or like an applesauce they should be good I have some almond milk. Lately, we've been drinking a lot more almond milk. So I've been putting this in the smoothies because it's so good in the smoothies. And I've been using this in the, in the morning for their breakfast. And then I have a gallon of just regular milk. I ran out of this all-purpose cleaner, so I had to go get some more. My other container has bleach and water in it. So this is going to be the actual all-purpose cleaner. I needed some scissors for my business to cut out the shipping labels. And they didn't have any packaged like patties like this. So I had to get frozen um, patties. I hope this does not taste like a Burger King burger. That's like what I'm worried about. Um, I usually like it like that, like packaged like this. And, and I don't really care for frozen patties, but that's all they had. It was like $5 and some change. And so I was like, you know what? I'll just get it. I don't even know how many, oh, six, okay. We'll see how that tastes. I'll let you guys know. And this was something that I had never seen before. Mega Strips Buffalo Style. This sounds so good. Usually chicken tenders like this, I cook extra long because um, sometimes the bread can be a little soggy. So you have to like cook it extra long. So I feel like these would be really good with some ranch. And I don't think I've ever bought this before, but we have some cheese and I just really want a pretzel. I have been really obsessed with Dairy Queen's pretzel sticks. They are so freaking good and the jalapeno cheese that go with it, delicious. If you haven't already, go and try it. I think it's part of their two for four. So you can get like a burger and some pretzel sticks. You can get some fries and some pretzel sticks. You can get a drink and some pretzel sticks for $4. Really good deal. So I've been really in a pretzel-y type of vibe for the past like two months. Brock lost his toothbrush, which was the main reason I had to go to the store today, which really made me motivated to even go because the boy needs to brush his teeth. Um, but this was like a dollar and some change for two of these. It's so cute and it comes with these little toothpick things. Um, I just thought this was really cute and fun for them. Then my daughter picked them out some toothpaste for themselves because they love coming in our bathroom and taking ours. And me and Drew needed some more toothpaste as well. We have a bunch of Lunchables, you guys already know. We're like Lunchable headquarters up in here. So we got some ham and pepperoni and some essentials over here like ketchup, mustard. We have peanut butter and jelly. And I have some relish. I think I'm gonna make some like in and out sauce or maybe like a Big Mac sauce to go with the burgers. That's gonna be so freaking good. And lastly, I got some ice. Usually you can find these for like a dollar at Walmart, but they had them for 84 cents at the commissary. So I went ahead and got me three of those. But yeah, that was everything I picked up from the commissary. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. The kids, I told them to grab a Lunchable for lunch or if they wanted peanut butter and jelly and they haven't made anything yet. They haven't even eaten. So we're gonna go ahead and put this away. I'm gonna make me some food, the kids some food, and yeah. Oh, and a smoothie. You want a smoothie? Yeah. We need smoothies. Really quick before I start dinner, I just want to show you guys the bubble mailers that I got. I think. Grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are the same ones that I had before. I'm going to. Yeah, they're the same ones that I ordered before, except the size that I had was like too big for people who just wanted to order like a lip gloss or like a pair of lashes. 
Um, so, and the bigger size of these are sold out. So I had to get the smaller size. But hopefully they restock soon because I'm gonna need that once I drop these new products. But I'm glad I got a smaller size. Just for people who like order two things or like one thing. I'm not like hauling around this big old package for like one small lip gloss. So that's what that was, which was definitely needed because I have literally one bubble metal left and that is not good. So good thing I got these. Now I'm about to listen to some music, make some burgers and fries, cut up some lettuce. It's Now we're at the table eating our dinner. The burgers, I did not realize that the burgers that I bought were already fully cooked. So they only take a few minutes to cook in the microwave or the grill. So these, this dinner actually got done pretty fast. We have our fries seasoned and the rest of my little Big Mac sauce. This food actually looks really good. So this is my burger. It's actually pretty good size. I'm really excited to eat because I'm really craving a burger. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more vlogs like this, more grocery hauls, give this video a like and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.